Hello and welcome to my review of the Juvie Cooper RS2 Double Stroller. I'm really excited to be reviewing this stroller for you guys today. I'm going to be going through the reasons why I wanted to purchase it, the pros, the cons, the specs, as well as dimensions. So seat widths, heights, all the details will be in all of those categories and I will have those time stamped in the description box below for you to check out. And just a quick little 15 second introduction of myself. My name is Ashley. I love sharing tips, tricks, and hacks for taking a toddler to Disney, traveling with a baby, as well as vlogs of our travels along the way. So if you enjoy that sort of content, be sure to hit the red subscribe button as well as the like button down below if you enjoy this video. So let's get started. And before I jump into the why I wanted this stroller portion of today's video, I wanted to let you guys know that it is sponsored by Juvie. They were very nice to send me this stroller, but I had been looking and looking at looking at all of the double strollers out there on the market. And when I came across this one, I kept coming back to it. I would look at others and I kept coming back to this one. So even if they hadn't sponsored it, this is the one I wanted and was going to buy anyway, but they were nice enough to gift this to me. So I'm very grateful for that. So let me tell you why I wanted it. For me personally, I was wanting a 10 out of 10 chef's kiss double stroller for travel. So this checked a ton, a ton of boxes for me. So first box that I wanted checked is I want it to be an all in one system. I didn't want a bunch of extra pieces, parts, seats that you had to remove to be able to fold it and collapse it. And just, I didn't want all of the stress and drama of a very detailed stroller. I wanted a simple system and this checked that box so well. The next thing I wanted in a double stroller was one that could stand once it was folded. So I didn't want it to be falling over. You know how it is. We go to Disney a lot. So when we fold our stroller, when we're in line to get on the bus, on any other transportation where your stroller has to be folded, I didn't want it to be sitting there and constantly falling over or falling on other guests or hurting somebody or falling over on my toddler. So the fact that it can stand level and safe by itself, was exactly what I wanted. The next must that I had on my list for my stroller was large canopies. And this one, this is how far it comes, but then it also extends, you guys. And so with that sunny Florida heat, we take it to Florida a lot, we go to Disney a lot. And so we wanted something that was good coverage for the girls when they were napping and resting. And so this really checked that box for us. The next and probably most important thing on my list was that they came with snack trays. I know that's probably silly, but I really wanted snack trays. I wanted the snack trays to be independent of each other. I wanted the snack trays to be easy to clean and be able to come off. And so how many times can I say snack trays? <laughs> probably a few more, but these are amazing. You can pop them off. They are dishwasher safe. And so we can take them off, throw them in the dishwasher, not a big deal, easy to clean. And so definitely two thumbs up for that. And like a lot of strollers I've seen the, when they're a double, it's one big snack tray. And so you're having to like share with siblings. And so now they have their own. And so it's not a big deal. So to some thumbs up for these little guys. The next thing I wanted was something that was smooth and easy to push, which this is obviously, no children are in there, but when there is, I can still push this thing with one hand and it's no big deal at all. I really, really like that because sometimes you want to be strolling and drinking your favorite drink and have your kids in tow and so that makes it even better that you can do both at the same time. And then the last reason, and it's more of a sentimental, emotional reason for wanting the stroller is I wanted a side-by-side -side. with us going to Disney and traveling and doing things like that. I wanted the girls to experience these things together. My two are 22 months apart. And so they're very, very close in age. And so being able to see my toddler show her baby sister the fireworks or look, we're gonna go ride Dumbo next was just, I don't know. It just really was something that I personally wanted instead of having them stadium seated and kind of so far away from each other. I wanted them to, like I said, experience things together. And so this stroller gave us that and definitely checked that box too. And aside from the snack trays, this was my next number one top priority of why I wanted the stroller was the fact that the seat fabric comes off and you can wash it. So not all strollers from all of my research, not all strollers do that. And so you want one that does. That is a huge, huge factor. So the fact that the snack trays can go in the dishwasher, the seat fabric can go in the washing machine. Oh my goodness. This is just like chef's kiss of a stroller for me with this thing because 
toddlers and babies and little kids are really, really messy. If you have one, you know. And so, yeah, that is amazing and a feature that every stroller should come standard with, but unfortunately doesn't. So that's why I like this one. Now we're going to talk about the pros. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is the fact that this basket can be gotten into from the front or you can spin it around and get into it from the back. So that makes it really easy if you're needing to kind of organize things to where you have maybe your diaper bag in the back and cooler bag in the front with your snacks in it, you can easily access it from either way. So when it once things get pushed to the front, it's not kind of wasted space and lost space so that you're not able to get to it. This way makes it really, really easy to grab anything and everything from the storage basket. The next pro about the stroller is that if you have a little one that will nap in it, it reclines pretty far back. So as you can see, that's pretty good. It is not a full flat recline, but it's not far from it. Both of my girls have been able to relax in this stroller and even my youngest has fell asleep in it. And so I give this thing two thumbs up for the recline. The next pro about this stroller are these little storage bags, which are absolutely amazing in my sense. When it's fully reclined, you can still easily access them. And even if it is all the way up and they are in the almost upright seated position, position, then you can still reach the bags. They are still very useful. They have the zippers on them, so you're not having to have extra things. And I personally like to keep the little covers for the snack tray spots in there. That way, if I want to take the snack tray off, I can plug the little holes so nobody's fingers are going in those holes. Another great thing that I love about this is how easy it is to recline it, as well as buckle your kids in, like the magnetic buckles and just the one-handedness of being able to recline your child back. I can literally be pushing my girls down the sidewalk and recline their seat all at the same time with one foul swoop. I don't know if it's mom strength or how awesome the stroller is, but it's really, really cool. And while I do love this stroller, it does have a few cons. So we're gonna talk about them. The first one is this little guy right here. This uh, cup holder. If you're putting a sippy cup or your toddler's water bottle in it, it's great, but it's not something that is going to fit a larger adult size water bottle. And so as you can see, mine did not fit in there. You kind of have to wedge it between the handlebar for it to not like fall out. And so it's not very helpful. And if you'll notice here, it actually has the fact that it's only good for one pound. And you see that little do not sign on the right? Yeah, that's for hot liquid. What do parents drink? Hot, sometimes, sometimes it's hot on occasion. Coffee, people drink hot coffee. Where am I supposed to put coffee? Now, personally, I'm not a coffee person. I'm more of an inner drink kind of mama, but my husband loves coffee. So when we go out, we're gonna have to have something extra. So that's one disappointing fact. And I wish Juvie would have done a little bit better on that because they know parents thrive on coffee. We need it, people need it to be energized and fueled and deal with the day because we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So that's one thing that could be better. The next thing, and while I understand why it's not, it's still a little frustrating and would make the whole storage basket situation a whole lot better. But it's this bar right here. And while I understand it is needed for um, strength and stability for the stroller and helps the seats have a higher weight capacity, it is disappointing for this basket in the sense of it's really narrow. And so like even for me and my diaper bag, it has little bottle pockets on the outside. I have to take the bottles out of the pockets so it will actually fit into one side of this stroller undercarriage here. So. When it comes to that, that is a little disappointed. Again, I understand why, because it needs this stability, but still, it's kind of a bummer. And the next con on the list is the buckle. Well, yes, it's easy and it's amazing, and it's one of the reasons I love this stroller, but we had one little incident where my toddler, who is two and a half, unbuckled herself, because it's really easy, and if they can figure out this little, thing here, then they can come apart. These are just magnetized, so it's right apart, just like that. And while that was one incident and she's not done it since, knowing that she figured it out once 
kind of leaves me to believe that if an older child was in this, say you had somebody that was closer to that 50 pound weight limit that was an older toddler, they could be unbuckled and climbing out of this thing potentially easy. So just something to note, it may just be my toddler and yours may be fine, I don't know. And it may have been a fluke thing, but I did wanna mention it in case that was on anybody's mind. The next thing is one of the strollers features but I personally can't do it. And it's the one hand fold. Now my husband, he can do it no problem. I don't have that upper body strength and arm strength. I'm getting better and it's getting easier, but straight out of the box, I couldn't do it at all. Like it literally took two hands for me to collapse the stroller. As we've used it, it's kind of gotten a little bit easier and sometimes I can do it with one hand and sometimes I can't do it with one hand, but just to note, if it comes out of the box and you can't do it either, welcome to the club. I guess we're weak now. And another con to this stroller is the handlebar isn't adjustable. And so for me at being 5'3", it's a little bit of a higher handlebar than I'm used to with my other strollers. But now for my husband who is 5'11", it's perfect. And so if you have someone who is a little bit on the taller side, it's great. And I can still obviously comfortably push this stroller. But as far as it being adjustable, say you've got a couple, which we know some that are the wife is five foot and the husband is six five. And so it's like, that's a really big height difference. And so that would have just been another Lux feature that I really wish they would have added to the stroller. Next, I wanted to answer some questions that I got over on my Instagram where I had asked you guys what you wanted to know about the GV Cooper RS2. So first thing was, is, is it easy to handle, get in, in and out of the trunk um, as a woman and doing it by yourself without your spouse with you? How did you feel about it? That part is easy. It's to me, it's no different than any other stroller. It comes in at 31.3 pounds. And so I do find it's a little heavy, but it's not impossible for me. If I can wrestle my toddler, I can wrestle the stroller. Another question I got is, does it take up a lot of space in the trunk and can you still get groceries in there? Now, here is a little bit of footage of a Jeep Compass that I am currently using as a rental car while mine's being fixed. But you can see it takes up quite a bit of room in this kind of smaller SUV category, but it's not impossible. You can see the side there. I can definitely still get groceries in. And then this is my husband's hatchback. And so you can see it takes up a lot of room and it's kind of a tight squeeze, but it does work. It does fit less room in here for extra things, but again, it does fit in the trunk. And then last but not least, this is a traditional sedan with a trunk. It's a Chevy Cruze. And so you can see it kind of fits over to the side and there is still quite a bit of space on the other side for groceries and diaper bags or anything else that you needed to put in there but it does fit quite well. Now I don't have my official mom car, which is an Acadia. And that one, I feel like it's going to take up the exact same room as it does for my other strollers that we have used and had over the years. And so I don't think it's gonna be an issue personally for me being able to get groceries and be able to carry the stroller with me, but it definitely works. And then the last question that I got over there that was a repeat question from a lot of people was basically, do you like having the double wide or having the stadium seated? Now, they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. I still enjoy my stadium seated stroller, but for travel, this is hands down the easiest. This one wins hands down for travel. Um, as far as being my grocery getter, I don't know that this is my grocery getter. Um, my other one would probably be that instead. It does, it's easier to use and stuff like that when you're shopping. It's being narrow. It is easier to get down aisles and past other people in their shopping carts and things like that. So I do find it a bit easier where with this one, um, there were times when we took it shopping that it was a little bit of a tight squeeze when you have people with shopping carts and stuff like that. That. And with my other stroller, I could have made it through with no problem. So that's just something to note, but I do really, really like this. And for me, hands down, best travel stroller. Now I wanna go through some dimensions about the stroller. Now I have my handy dandy phone here with all of that on it. Some of these are from Juvie and then some of them I personally took because they weren't listed on the website. 
When it comes to the height of the stroller, it comes in at 42.7 inches. Now that is from the ground to the top of the handlebar there at the stroller. And so that's what gets you your 42.7 inches. And then as far as the depth of the stroller, that is 35 inches. And the width of the stroller is 29.7. So now if you do have a smaller door, a 2.8 two door, um, an under three foot door, then the stroller will not fit through it. It's, we have one and it is like really, really really close. So unfortunately I can't get my girls in the stroller loaded up and then go out our back door because it's not large enough. But if you have a larger three foot door, it will easily fit through it. Now, when it comes to dimensions, I am a Disney mom. And so this is an important factor to me. This is Disney approved. So you can take it to Disney world or Disneyland with no issues whatsoever. I know they have size requirements for their stroller, but this one fits. Now we're talking seat measurements, the seat back itself from the very base to the very top is 19 inches. And so if you have an older toddler, it will definitely fit for quite a while. And I did wanna take a measurement from the bottom of the seat to the very tip top of the canopy, like where it comes over their head, and that comes in at 28 inches. So if you have a taller toddler and you're worried about the canopy like rubbing their head, this one should work for them. I am really excited to see how long this lasts us, but from how high it is, it really, really should be a longevity stroller that lasts us four years. Now, as far as the seat that their little bum sits on, it is nine inches deep. And then if it has the footrest kicked out, it extends to 15 inches. Now, my little girl who is a toddler can actually sit with this kind of crisscross applesauce, as they say, and it can be able to sit there with the footrest up very comfortably and relaxed, or we can put it down and she can be able to let her legs dangle, whatever. And then obviously my nine month old, her little legs don't even come to the end of it. And so you can see her little chunky thighs hanging out there, but it fits really, really well for both of those ages for us. Now, when it comes to the seat width, that comes in at 11 inches. So a nice, pretty wide seat for most double strollers. And so it can definitely accommodate a larger toddler. And then last but not least with the basket, the dimensions on it are for each side. It's 11 inches wide and 22 inches deep. Now, obviously if it was one large basket and it didn't have the divider in between of the bars and brackets and everything, it would have been a much larger measurement, but between the brackets, it's 11 inches and 22 in depth. And here are a few of my favorite specs about this stroller. The first one being the seats and the weight capacity. Each seat boasts a 50 pound capacity. So that's 100 total, but 50 in each seat for each little one. So that will last you quite a while and for quite a few years. The wheels themselves are freaking amazing. They're non-puncture wheels, so they're not air like wheels. So they're not going to get messed up if you're using them on city streets and something sharp kind of pokes them. You cannot slash them or break them in any way. So that is amazing. The front wheel is a seven inch wheel and then the rear wheel is a nine inch wheel. And from personal experience that, I don't know what it is about that little magical combination, but it makes pushing this thing like a dream over bumps and little train tracks and all kinds of things. It's just smooth and glides along things that I thought it would have trouble going over. And I was like kind of bracing myself for it went over no problem. Like I could have one handed pushed over some of these things with no issue. So that's amazing. Another great thing is that the fabric itself is made out of 100% recycled fabrics. And then the nice leather handlebar that you're pushing, which is so luxurious looking and just feels amazing to your hands, but it is a 100% full grain leather handlebar. So that is really nice. It feels again, amazing. And so I love it. It gives it that luxe feel having the leather type look to it. So it's really cool. And then another detail about the stroller is the footrests are actually three position footrests. So you've got the flat here, like I talked about earlier, where it's that 15 inches. And then there's buttons on either side here. So you push those in, it is two hands, but it goes down to this angle, which is kind of inclined there. And then it will go to where it is straight down. So if you have an older toddler that their legs want to come down and their feet rest on the little foot bar here down below, they can 100% do that. So whatever phase your little one is in, it definitely will have 
the right foot rest for them. And then another great feature, and I kind of talked about this a little bit earlier, but the canopies are amazing. They're very large, but they're also extendable. As you can see here, they have a nice little zipper feature, so you can zip it wide open and it extends even further to give you more coverage over that sweet little baby skin. And then the last two fun features that I really like is the fact that the canopies have these little peekaboo windows. So when you're pushing them, if they are in there and they're bickering or they're playing and you wanna see that cuteness, whatever is going on under those canopies, you can see it as a parent. So they've got those little parent windows that are really, really handy. And then the last feature that I wanted to point out is the one step foot break. Literally, you just push it forward to engage it and back to disengage it and you're ready to roll. And so it makes it super, super easy to use. And that's going to do it for my review of the Juvie Cooper RS2. If you are interested in purchasing one, I will have my link down in the description box below for you guys to check out. It is an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission, but you aren't charged any extra or more than normal. So be sure to use that if you don't mind. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the red subscribe button. And thank you again to Juvie for sponsoring today's video, but I will see you guys right back here with another one next time. Bye guys. Have a great week.